today in our discussion of minority groups we have with us two guests one is Minister Malcolm X Shabazz one of the top leaders of the Nation of Islam or the so-called black Muslims the charge of violence against us actually stems from the guilt complex that exists in the conscious and subconscious minds of most white people in this country. They know that they've been violent in their brutality against Negroes. And they feel that someday the Negro is going to wake up and try and do unto them as they have done unto, do unto the whites as the whites have done unto us. We are a violent group. When we see our people being brutalized by white bigots, white racists, uh, we think that they are foolish to allow themselves to be beaten and brutalized and do nothing whatsoever to protect themselves. They are foolish. They, have, if they should have the right to, de to defend themselves against any attack made against them by anyone. If a dog is biting a black man, the black man should kill the dog. Whether the, do the dog is a police dog, a hound dog, or any kind of dog. If a dog is sick on a black man, when that black man is doing nothing but trying to uh, take advantage of what the government says is supposed to be his, then that black man should kill that dog or any two-legged dog who sicks the dog on it. Should other black men help that particular person who was attacked? I think you'll find, sir, that there will come a time when black people wake up and become intellectually independent enough to think for themselves, as other humans are intellectually independent enough to think for themselves, then the black man will think like a black man, and he will feel for other black people. And this new thinking and feeling will cause black people to stick together. And then at that point, you'll have a situation where when you attack one black man, you are attacking all black men. And this type of black thinking will cause all black people to stick together. And this type of thinking also will bring an end to the brutality inflicted upon black people by white people. And it is the only thing that will bring an end to it. No federal court, state court, or city court will bring an end to it. It's something that the black man has to bring an end to himself. Being friendly and being a friend, I think, are two different things. I think there are many whites who act friendly toward Negroes. A fox acts, acts friendly toward the lamb. Mm -hmm. And usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on his plate. Mm -hmm. The wolf doesn't act friendly. And therefore the <coughs> wolf has more difficulty in getting the lamb chop in his plate. I'd like to point out, though, that... And I, I, I say that because it is usually the, if you study the structure of the Negro community, mm -hmm. economically, politically, civically, psychologically, and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal, mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend of the Negro, who actually differs from the white conservative in, in the same way that the fox differs from the wolf. Uh, their appetite is the same. Their motives are the same. It's only their mannerisms and, and methods that differ. Mm -hmm. I'm suspicious of whites who join Negroes and always have to be in the lead, who always have to be the head, who always have to be at the top in Negro organizations. Those whites who really have the interest of blacks at heart, let them give some advice to some Negroes and stand on the sideline, but don't join the organization and then get at the head of it and pose as a friend of Negroes. Well, I, I would, uh, I think that Today, you could point to a large number of, of Negro leaders who have consistently betrayed Negroes in a whole host of areas. They aren't really Negro leaders. These are puppets that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. These are parrots that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. You can't name me a Negro leader who has been a Negro leader who has been betray, who has betrayed Negroes who is not who has not been endorsed, sanctioned. Uh, subsidized and supported by the white liberals. Now, uh, the concerning the uh, poll taken by Newsweek magazine, I think you said that this was the leaders who said that uh, 
who went with King and against Mr. Muhammad around 90%. I just told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included <laughs> Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and or over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear. You'll find that oftentimes Negroes are as much on guard uh, around Negro interviewers who usually represent the bourgeois uh, element of Negroes as they are on guard around whites. Uh, usually Negroes know that when this bourgeois Negro walks through the door, he is not doing something that he's initiated himself, but he's involved in something in which the white man is the absolute author of and has sent him to the Negro community for some information. And when they give that Negro some information, usually they give him the information that they want, the white, want him to take back to the white man, because that's who he's going to take it back to. Four more minutes. Uh, Send me a fig one feet. No me on a rat, but me I go to fill the cheese. So that the come up back and you know them off for eat. So don't test me, me kill your blood clean. Yeah, you hear me? Me send me a fig one feet. No me on a rat, but me I go to fill the cheese. So that the come up back and you know them off for eat. So don't test me, me kill your blood clean. From the gully, get the youths that come up from the gully. No tech talk on the streets, them we study. I count up the cash, tell me if you're not worried. I pray a different part and I chat it in a hurry. Get the use I come up from the gully Don't take that by the streets, let me study I count up the cash, tell me if you no worry I pray a different part and I try it in a hurry it started that first Christmas, ain't really get shit I asked for My wish list was filling type down, so bro she said they hit